Oh, hey guys, it's uh, Ryan live from Unbound Vision. If you guys can see, I'm very, I'm much, I'm. It doesn't seem like it, but I'm actually much better illuminated because we got a new uh, light device here. It's just, a, it's kind of like a thin light, and the nice thing about that thin light is it allows me to see the computer and everything that I'm working on. I couldn't see otherwise; like it was almost impossible to see. But now with this, I can see really well, and. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I basically have been moving everything around in the room to try to make the sound optimal. Uh, I had to put some cushioning on top of this. And uh, I have noticed that what helps uh, the sound room the most isn't just putting together, like, this long, thick mat. It's also putting these throw pillows at the bottom here. You might not be able to see. There you go. So these throw pillows are uh, making a huge difference sound-wise. But I have noticed that it will make an even bigger difference if I get some bath mats and I place them underneath these pillows and also in that uh, doorway, as you guys can see right there. And I'll also get some more throw pillows to like put basically in this area here and to fill in the space, I think, in between here and possibly uh, in here as well. I'll probably get at least like uh, three three more throw pillows just to cover all the bases and then I'll get those bath mats because those bath mats make a huge difference uh sound wise because if you hear me actually doing this right now ha 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 it's pretty good but there's still some uh echo and that is unfortunately because of this area I think right here because I've tested it with the bath mats and uh when I put the bath mats down, there's basically no echo whatsoever. Or there's so little echo that, like, you can't even hear it uh, with the human ears. I, 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 guess, I, guess you, I guess you could say. You can't even hear it at all. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to basically get uh, two bath mats. I'm going to get three more throw pillows. And uh, it's going to be a little bit annoying to walk around this room. But that should make a big difference. And hang on, let me test it. Ha, ha, ha! 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 I can hear a little bit of echo. I can hear a little bit of echo coming from this direction, mostly. So, yeah, the bath mat will make a huge difference. The throw pillow in between the space between this mattress will also make a big difference. I also tested that out, too. And the th But the, the biggest difference that's being made are the throw pillows behind me. And again, guys, sorry, I haven't been able to get any work done on the new comic. I've just been... I've just been fretting over getting the sound room to sound good. And I, there was a light that we used before here, too, that was a, uh, a metal lamp. But, like, it was producing so much echo. So we had to remove it, and we had to replace it with this uh, LED, like, thin, uh, thin lamp, essentially. Like, it's just basically a plastic lamp that doesn't have any metallic parts, and it has no spaces uh, to produce an echo. So, I mean... <laughs> Everything from even the light source has to basically not reverberate or produce any echoes. So I'm just trying my best to make sure that, like, the, it's as quiet as humanly possible in the sound room. Because if it's not, it's going to be a huge problem. Because that condenser microphone we're going to get for this uh, stand here, that is going to pick up literally everything in this room which means the room has to be totally silent. And thankfully, we've solved that problem with this really silent uh, mouse, the uh, mostly silent keyboard, and this completely silent uh, mini PC. And also, you know, the audio interface is obviously silent. I mean, like, almost everything in this room, I should say, actually, literally everything in this room is silent, except for the room itself right now, which I have to basically sound dampen to the best of my ability. So I'm probably going to, like, I don't know, I'm probably going to go to Big Lots tomorrow, and, like, get some throw pillows. If not, if I can't find any throw pillows I like at Big Lots, I'll just, I don't know, I'll just order on Amazon or something. They're really cheap, you know, they're not expensive. But, uh, yeah, yeah, the throw pillows behind me have made a huge difference sound-wise, but it's gonna be really annoying to, to step across them every single day. But, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll make do as long as it helps me do the work, as long as it helps me look for work, and as long as it helps me produce good audio. Uh, you know, I can't complain. If it does that, then... You know, we're golden. I'm just not going to worry about it. <laughs> I mean, maybe... I know, it's it, it's kind of silly to look at. I was thinking, uh, maybe I could put a dog bed or something behind there. But, like, it's it's not really enough space for that dog bed. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe it would be. But that would be even more... Yeah, the dog bed would be even more annoying to step across. That would be, that would be a lot more annoying to step across. Because that thing is, like, crunchy. So... <laughs> 
I know. I've, I've been testing so much materials, guys. I've been I've been testing so much stuff in this room. I've been doing that literally all day. I'm going to be doing that basically all day tomorrow, too. So I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I mean, I, I really am sorry. I wish I could have gotten started on the new webcomic for the Mouth of Hell. But I just, I've just been fretting, trying to get the sound room working. And it's like 90%... It's 90% sound dampened, as you guys can hear, but it's not done yet. Like, it's almost there, but it's not done yet. And every single time I introduce a new item into the room, there's always some sort of problem that happens. So, the room is so dang sensitive. It is unbelievably sensitive. Like, a, oh, like I'm, 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 I won't say I'm stressed out too much, but like, I'm just like, Every single time I try to fix the problem, a new problem comes up. But thankfully, I think the throw pillows and the uh, bathroom mats will, for the most part, just completely dampen the space, at least where I'm sitting, basically. And that will basically solve the entire problem. And again, you know, I'm going to just take the rest of today and all of tomorrow to basically just solve the whole problem. And it's going to be really annoying to... <laughs> to step across those throw pillows, but I'll, it'll, it'll be fine, you know, it'll be fine, because I have to leave them there, right, I can't just keep putting them back every single time, it's a pain in the ass, so I'll, ju I'll just leave them there, and I'll just keep stepping across them <laughs> every single day, <laughs> but I mean, you know, it doesn't sound too bad, right, I mean, even with, even with the uh, computer screen right here, it doesn't sound too bad, right, I mean, it sounds all right, even with the fan here, which should produce a lot of metallic sound, those throw pillows behind me are just dampening that sound so effectively. And, uh, yeah, it's going to get better. It, it, it's it's going to get better, but, like, I just got to keep working on it. It's, it's little by little by little by little, and thankfully, it's almost done. It's, it's about to be done. In fact, most likely within, oh, definitely before the end of this month, it's going to be completely done and completely sound dampened. And somewhere around the end of this month or early next month, we will get in the new studio condenser microphone just in time, too, because I'll be able to test it. And uh, that will enable me to do the voice acting for the new Takashi webcomic animatics for the Mouth of Hell uh, sometime later next month. And uh, yeah, but I will, I will promise to you guys. I absolutely will promise to you guys because the situation in the sound room is almost solved. I will get started on the new Takashi webcomic for the Mouth of Hell on Monday. And I won't have, most likely, most likely, I won't have any distractions. I won't have any distractions at all for the remainder of that week, hopefully. And I will just work on the webcomic. And then, most likely, I will get that webcomic out to you guys sometime soon uh, next month. So look forward to it. And keep in mind, next month, uh, Shun is also going to bring a new Magical Girl Bunny Smith webcomic to you guys as well. And Brenna Thornton is already in the midst of voice acting for the next three animatics for the Mouth of Hell. So that's coming out next month as well. So, again, we have a lot of stuff coming out next month. And right now, I'm just trying to solve the problem in the sound room. And uh, I think it's almost done. I honestly think it's almost done. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, it's, there's still some echo coming from this direction, so... Yeah, I'll get that solved. I, w I will get that solved. I hope you guys are looking forward to more, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated on the sound room. And, uh, yeah, look forward to more. Hope you guys stay inspired. Have a great day.